Hi, I'm David, this is Vape and Juice TV. In today's video, we're gonna talk about five great vape pens that I don't just think are great for 2022, I think they'll be great in 2023 as well. I'm gonna tell you exactly why you should check them out if you're interested in looking at a vape pen. Before we do that, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so when we drop another video, you know about it, and of course, we get paid in likes, so uh, I'll wait. So in this video, we're gonna talk about five kits that all come for under 30 pounds or probably $30, depends what you are in the world. I'm not gonna name the price of them. The reason for that is because you're gonna watch this video in three years time. You're gonna go, I can get it for a 10 inch, I asked. Anyway, so here's five kits that I think are well worth looking at. We're gonna cover best for reliability, best all round, best for clouds, best for budget. Um, best if you like a disposable. So let's just cut to the chase. So number one, let's start really simple. I'll be honest with you, I'm holding a disposable right now. I'm not the biggest fan because I think they're a little bit environmentally wasteful. Uh, some companies are starting to take consideration with that aspect, but if you do like a disposable, probably one of the cheapest ones around, and I think one of the best values for the price because the flavor's fantastic. It's the Elf Bar. There's not really much else to say. I like banana ice, give it a go. If you want a disposable and you don't want to have a kit or anything else that goes with it, Elf bars were worth it. I would say though, on the downside, you get two mil of liquid in this. Often you're gonna get a bottle of 10 mil refill liquid that goes in the normal vape kits for the same money. So they're not very cost effective. They are a bit wasteful, but you know, if you want your disposable, check out the Elf bar. Number two is the Inokin Gem Pen. This is probably the best vape pen for a beginner who doesn't know what to buy, doesn't want to spend a lot of money, but wants something that's probably a little bit more economically friendly than a disposable pen. What's good about it? Well, it's from Inokin. They're a really trusted brand when it comes to making vape pens. It doesn't cost a lot of money. These tend to be under a score. What do you get in the box? Well, you get a little bit of card for a start. Inside the box, you're gonna find you've got a vape pen, spare coils, and some wires to charge it up. It's got a little instruction pack so you can see what you're doing. And you know, just to give you some idea of scale, it's not too big, it's not too fancy, doesn't have a load of you know, functionality. You charge it up with a micro USB and that's it really. It's very good with beginner style liquids, starter style liquids, the kind of things you get from a petrol station, your standard 10 mil. As I say, it's economically friendly in that respect. And that I think is one of the best starter pens you can use if you're starting out trying to quit smoking and you don't want to spend a lot of money. The Inokin Gem Pen, that's what it looks like. Give it a whirl. So number three, the best vape pen for reliability. And I'm gonna call out the Aspire Pocket as the best one for that. There's obviously gonna be other ones out there, but I wanted to pick out one for you that you could sort of, okay, I've seen that one, I've heard about that one, I could probably trust that one. Again, not a lot of money, and there's not too much functionality going into it. What do I like about it? Well, the brand's been around for a while, and the kit itself has been around for a while. They've updated it a few things with perhaps a few microchips or whatever inside it. So you're never gonna struggle to find replacement coils inside that. That's one of the problems. If you get a really obscure, niche, fancy kit, you might struggle to find the coils to replace them if you're on holiday or the other side of the country. So that's one of the reasons why it's really reliable. The brand itself has been around for a while, so they've really made sure they've tested and improved the kit. So we've got sort of a back track record of history behind it. And so again, it doesn't tend to cause too many problems. Sometimes you get little rubber O-rings that ping off that kind of keep it tight, airtight or watertight, sorry, but they've got spare ones in the box. Uh, let me show you what comes in the box. You get a, a fetching pitcher. You've got your kit. You've got spare coil. There's one already in the kit. You've got a wire. One of the features of this particular kit is it's got two types of coils. Coils are the little things that heat up, heat the liquid and create the vapor. But one's more powerful than the other. And that allows you to use a slightly thicker liquid, which improves the range or array of liquids you could use on this kit. Now, it's certainly not gonna be great for super, super thick liquids that you see using the big cloud machines, but it can certainly use ones close to that. So you've got the opportunity with this particular vape pen to start to use some slightly fancier liquids. Uh, again, you can find the coils anywhere, Showing it in scale, let's get it out of the box. Let's find it out there. You can see there on the camera there, it's not too big. Fits in your pocket nicely. You charge it in the base, so you can stand it upright. You can use it while you're charging, which a lot of these, these, these sort of vape kits have. It's called pass-through technology. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You fill in the top up there, screw the cap back on. You click it 19 times to turn it on, and uh, you click it three times to turn it off. There you go. Um, you obviously, you normally have the coil in there, but because there's no liquid in there, I didn't want to turn it on and burn the coil and it would 
smell terrible. Uh, one of the things I mentioned, the only problem you often see sometimes is where a rubber o-ring can pop off. You can see a little rubber o-ring there. There's some spare ones in the box. Uh, these just help keep it tight uh, so liquid doesn't come out. But it's uh, no more complicated than that, doesn't need to be. It's got a slightly longer life battery than the gem pen which I showed you earlier. You can use a slightly wider range of liquids, some thicker liquids. And uh, it's been around for a while so we know we can trust it. It's a good bit of kit. It's not too expensive. That's why I recommend it for the most reliable vape pen. Number three, the Pockex. Number four, the best vape pen for beginners for clouds. Obviously there's a lot more complicated vape pens out there that can throw massive clouds. I wanted to keep it pretty straightforward in this video and find you sort of five vape pens that you could use if you're very new to the game. So when it comes to clouds, you want something that's enabled to punch more power through it. And this is what the V2 Smock Vape Pen can do. Smock are uh, very well known when it comes to producing cloud-based kits. And this one is no exception. This is an updated version of their sort of Smock Vape Pen. It's not too fancy. In the box, you can see here, it comes with a glass, a mouthpiece, a couple of coils, which you need to, to vape and a charging cable, as well as a few bits of spares. Again, this doesn't come in a lot of money. You can find it pretty cheap in most stores. If you want to find a discount code, you can in the, in the description. Shameless plug, and I'll put a link to all these kits on there as well. So to scale, you can see it there, fully dressed. It uh, looks pretty nice. This is a seven color, like a rainbow effect. You can see it's not too big. So if you want a device that can produce clouds that isn't too big, Smock Fate Pen 22, it's the V2, it's the new version, it's pretty good. It uses what's called a mesh coil, and a mesh coil has been tested over the last couple of years to produce some of the best flavor outcomes when it comes to different coils using the kit. They tend to last a bit longer as well. The early versions of this kit tended to leak, quite problematic, but this is definitely an improvement. It's got airflow, adjustable airflow on the side, so you can vape bigger clouds, more airflow, you can get a cooler vape. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty simple again micro USB looks pretty punches big clouds now if you're going to use a vape pen like this and you're going to use big cloud coils which this obviously has it means the battery life isn't going to last as long as some of the other lower powered kits but if you want to sort of dip your toe in the water with cloud vapes you can't really go wrong with this it's not a lot of money it can produce a big cloud you can use all of the liquids you see on the back shelf of vape shop and uh, it's a bit of fun too number five the S class of vape pens. Now it doesn't look like your ordinary vape pen. It's got a little bit of a flatter profile, but actually it's not much difference in size disposable and it goes like the clappers. I think this is the best all round vape pen you can get. It uses USB 3 or C, which means it does fast charging. It's got a clear glass window so you can see how much liquid you got left. It works on inhale activated as well as a push button. It ramps up really fast. This is the G2 Caliburn pod system, which is a slight upgrade on some earlier models. I think they're all great. It's even got a little adjustable airflow on the bottom of the pods, so you can increase or reduce the sort of inhale effect. You fill it up by <laughs> squeezing, there you go, oh you just squeeze it, that was it. Uh, and you just top fill, put that in there. You change the coil as and, as and when, it's pretty easy to change the coil. You just pull the bottom off. The bottom fell off, and you pull the coil out, Throw it in the bin, whack a new one in. You line them up nicely with the little lines there. You're not gonna be able to see it very easily on the camera. Play around with the airflow, fill up the liquid, pop on the top, whack in the kit, click it three times to turn it on. It's really simple to use. It looks nice, it feels nice, it vapes really well. In the box, you're gonna get an additional coil. There's a few different coils out there, so you can use quite a good range of liquids. They are best for salt, personally I'd recommend, or any of these kind of higher PG liquids. Got a spare charger in there, a small manual if you want to read about it, if you want to read the story of Caliburn, you can do in there. So there you go, that's five best vape pens, or certainly five vape pens you should be considering if you're about to step into that world. If you want to see them directly, there'll be the links in the description below, and of course there'll probably be a cheeky little discount code in there as well. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, we help you vape, that's Vape and Juice TV.